Uh, John, tell me about Lifeline 100. This is your second year? Like, this is our second year, and we've blown away the numbers. Last year we had about 500. We're already uh, around 650 this year. So, uh, yeah, we're thrilled with uh, the turnout. We've got a beautiful sunny day, and should be a great day for riding. What's kind of the range you're seeing of riders in terms of their experience? Are a lot of people doing the 100 mile? We have a lot doing the 100 miler, but this year we added a 30 miler trail only ride, and that's proving very, very popular. We have, uh, I think, over 160 riders have come out for that. So that's good for the recreational rider. One of the unique things about Lifeline 100 is there's a ride for everybody. There's for recreational riders, 15 and 30 mile trail rides, and then for the distance riders, we've got 65 and 100 mile rides. Um, what do you think the, the popularity of, I mean, in your only second year, that's a pretty good number of registrants. What does that tell you about the, the popularity of bicycle riding in Anne Arundel County? It, it's saying it's very popular, and we're getting a lot of riders from out of the county. So this is a great chance for people to see Anne Arundel, the best way to see it, which is from a, from a bicycle seat. What, what's your quick read on some things we can do to improve um, um, access in the county? Yeah, what we need is more on-road and road-adjacent bike lanes. Uh, we, our trails are awesome, the BNA trail, the BWI loop, which we use on this ride. But riders are going to have a whole mix of riding on trail, riding on roads with bike lanes, and then riding on roads that have little to no shoulder where they're riding with cars. So we need more safe places for people to uh, be able to ride bikes. And what are some what are some scenic views people are going to see today? People are going to have a fantastic view of the Chesapeake Bay all the way to Kent Island as they cross over the Naval Academy Bridge. They're going to go right through City Dock, Annapolis, and see the sights down there. Some of the riders will be going down to Bay Ridge where they'll be able to see uh, Thomas Point Lighthouse, uh, all the way down to South County, Galesville, up through uh, Crofton, up to the airport. We've got a rest, uh, rest stops at uh, county parks throughout the ride. And I'm sure you're, it's eating you up inside that you're not riding today. It's killing me not to be riding, but I gotta, I've got to work it. I'll tell you what we did. I didn't do it, but uh, a lot of our volunteers from the Annapolis Bike Club and they went out and did the rides, the, both the 100 miler and the 65 miler, uh, so they could get to ride and also give us feedback about the route. Uh, lastly, uh, why would you recommend uh, bicycling as a, as a recreational activity for folks? Not just for recreation, we recommend bicycling also for transportation. And there's so many good reasons to do it. First, of, of course, is health. Uh, second is good for the environment, get people out of the cars and onto their bikes. Third, less traffic on the road. I just met a guy who bikes uh, every day from Annapolis to his job at Fort Meade, 40 miles every day. And uh, that's one less car taking up a parking space and uh, clogging up our roads. It's also good for our economy. A lot of the mil millennials are looking for transportation options. They don't want to drive cars. They want, they want to walk, bike transit and so if we can make this a more attractive place to bike it's going to be a better place to uh to live and work well thanks for doing this this is a great event john okay yeah we're thrilled to do it the one other thing i'll mention is the children's bike rodeo which is this afternoon and uh and uh we, we've got over 50 kids coming out for that This is the second annual Lifeline 100. This event benefits uh, three charities in Anne Arundel County, uh, Deeds, uh, Bike AAA, and, uh, and uh, the Crisis Response uh, Agency for Anne Arundel County, which responds to crises, mental health crises throughout the county. So this is a great event. Uh, there are over 600 people that are going to be participating today. It's a beautiful blue sky day. It's a little cold. A little chilly this morning, but uh, it'll be all right. Can't tell. <laughs> we'll make it. But uh, we're going to go uh, uh, 100 kilometers, which is about 65 miles, and uh, hopefully we'll get warmed up here in the next few minutes. Do you think it's important, you know, as the county executive to come out and participate in these events? 
Well, this gives us an opportunity to showcase Anne Arundel County. We're going to go through some of the most beautiful parts of Anne Arundel County today by bike. And uh, as, as, I've, as I've said time and time again, a big priority for our administration is to improve recreational and quality of life opportunities uh, throughout the county, including our, our system of bike trails. We want to showcase them. You're doing 65 miles today. That's that's a pretty that's a pretty hefty uh, chunk of chunk of miles there. Well, the the real bike riders will be going 100 miles, so we're we're taking the easy way out at 65 miles. Do you have a goal for for your time or anything like that? My goal is to not freeze this morning. <laughs> and to finish. And to finish exactly. Well, thanks for talking with us. Thank you. How come you came all the way out here for this? Uh, just a group of friends just decided oh, you to. You can look at me. A group of friends decided to get together and um, he had half of them uh -huh. and um, get some exercise in on this 35 blistery morning. Okay, and uh, which which route are you doing? 65, the metric. 65. Yeah. Have you done that before? No. Are you scared? No. You're not scared? Mm -mm. You have sunglasses on, so I can't tell if you're. <laughs> no. Are you scared? Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Um, have, and are you familiar with the Anne Arundel County? No. I mean, the landscape of um, it? More or less. Yeah. I mean, you see I've written like out a here. lot of water views. Right. And, you right. Know, so I'm looking forward to the scenic. Okay, cool. Views. Definitely. And what did you guys do to get ready? Did you guys train or anything? Yeah, we trained informally. We also rode uh, the Johns Hopkins uh, cancer bike ride. <laughs> okay. Uh, about, was it two weeks ago? Uh huh. And we were supposed to do the Seagull Century, so we've been kind of training, getting ready for this this ride. Do you ride just for recreation, or do you ever ride to work or anything like that? Uh, just for recreation. Okay. Well, good luck today. Thank you. You ready you. for it? It's a little cold. It's a little cold. Okay. Um, how about you? Have you are you familiar with Anne Arundel County? You've been in Annapolis before. Um, been in Annapolis a few times. Not too familiar with the trails, but uh, I think I've uh, rode one time around here. So I'm kind of excited about learning the, the trails are in the area have you did you guys like have a discussion about like doing the 65 versus the 100 oh we did and um i think the weather kind of deterred us from doing that 100 because we didn't want to be in the cold all day so yeah we figured we'd get in and out with the 65 so i have i have a feeling though it's gonna warm up in about an hour you'll be fine i hope so man well <laughs> right now but i think in about an hour i hope warm. so it gets warm because you know that's the hardest part warm you know once you get warm your legs get pumping you feel okay but then the your hands and your nose and your lips start getting cold, so yeah. that makes it harder. So. Well, thanks for talking with us. Appreciate it, guys. Good luck. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank All right. You. All right. Um, how'd you find out about Lifeline 100? My friend John uh, uh, had me join in last year, ride with him, and I, I, mistake, I made a mistake and said I'd do it again this year. Yeah, was there anything different this year from last year? Uh, last year it was very, very windy. This year it's just very cold so uh -huh. far. <laughs> it's sun's out now, so that's helping. Yeah. Um, what 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 were your impressions of the course? Are you doing the 65 or the 65 today? Yeah. Okay. What well, what were some of your the highlights of it of the uh, course? I love uh, riding past the Naval Academy uh, through uh, Annapolis and just uh, the trail is really really nice. Everybody's so friendly, and uh, everybody's saying hi to each other. Even you know there were people on the bridges, you know, cheering us on. So it's a, it's a good event. Um. Do you, so you do a lot of trail riding in different uh, places? I do just different events. I do triathlons, uh, 5K events, runs, and, uh, and other bikes. We've done a 100 uh, or a century, the Pillars Century Mark. Uh -huh. so. how, do you, how do you think the trails compare here? In, honestly, I mean, do you, yeah. 
do you, are there areas where you see there could be improvement or do you feel like they're the trails are good here they're, they're, they're good here connected. i mean there, there's some bumpy spots but that's everywhere you go and i've ridden in and virginia's got some very nice trails all throughout the entire state and they're just as nice here how about cars or no, nope, nope. being nice they're, being, they're pretty nice. Yeah, you know, haven't had any problems. We we thought we was gonna have to have to battle a red car at one point, but he finally stopped. So how do you battle a red car? <laughs> uh, very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like the car would win. <laughs> hey, my buddy's pretty big. So. <laughs> oh yeah, he is a big dude. Um, and uh, do you do you train for these rides for? Uh, somewhat, you know, I, I, we stay in shape. We, he rides a lot, I run a lot, and I ride whenever we ride together, so. Do you have a goal for your time today, or do you, when do you think Completion. you'll be done? <laughs> I, think, uh, I think we're just shooting around five, six hours. No big hurry. Okay. We're enjoying it. We're not really pedaling as hard as we can, so. I think the next leg is going to be a lot nicer. It's going to be warmer. Uh, the warmth is a lot better. I've, I've lost a feeling in all my extremities at this point so well jeff thank you for talking with us thank Appreciate you thank, thank you, you. have you done this ride before no sir this and is my first time and so you got up early and you, you got on the bike and it was dark outside and it was really cold and you thought I can't see because I have my sunglasses on and it's dark <laughs> and it's very cold and my toes are still numb <laughs> but so this is about um, um, how long is the route you're doing I'm doing the 65 but, but an extra actually eight because I'm coming from Glen Burnie from the mall so I'm at 75 I'm doing today oh cool were there were there other people at the mall or were you pretty much the only one no because I live across the street from the mall so we came from the mall so you took so the DNA trail yes. down to Kinder. the park yes cool uh -huh. um were you, were you intimidated by a 65 mile ride no I've been trying to train a little bit for it but the cold is what scares me <laughs> so, so how was the first leg what were some of the things the highlights of what you saw and um, I didn't see too much except a lot of blinking lights because, like you said, it was dark. And uh, I mean the, the just until you got here. Um, it's a nice ride. It's yeah. A, yeah, coming down here, it's it's a nice ride on the trail and up through Annapolis. How is the Naval Academy Bridge? That's a little bit of a challenge, right? Yes, it <laughs> is. That is. Usually, I stop on the top, but my husband didn't want to stop with me, so. We had to keep going. <laughs> Cause, cause when you drive, when you drive over in a car, it doesn't seem like a big deal. But when you're on a bike, it's it's pretty pretty a steep hill. Yeah, it is. It, it it's 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 bad. Get your heart pumping for sure. Yeah. Do you have um? So if you're training for it, do you have like a like a time like a goal for your time? Um, no, not this time. I don't. Just because it's my first time, and this part I'm doing by myself. My husband's doing the hundred. So. Oh, he's doing the hundred. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's far. Next year I'll be doing that hopefully. And do you do you ever bike to work or anything like that? Or? No, I can't. I'm I work in the city, so. Okay. The, Baltimore City. Yeah, and in, in our harbor areas. Okay. I heard there's a trail. I'll tell you about uh, yeah, that. I yeah, a guy that I work nice. with did it, but yeah, yeah, that's a little dangerous for me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we um, saw an accident yesterday. Oh really? Yeah. As the biker got hit and critical condition, I think he is. Yeah, how do, how do you, I mean, does that concern you when you're out there riding? Oh, I mean, yes. Do you, what do you do to try and, you know, stay safe when you're out there? Uh, with the lights. Just hold on for dear life. And, yeah, lights, bright stuff. Yeah. <laughs> watch what you're doing wherever you're going and make sure you're cautious of everybody. Well, Kelly, have a great ride today and thank you, you for talking with us. Sure, really thank you. It. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. <laughs>